All right, uh, let's look at the homework uh, 14.3, problem number seven. All right, so we want to use implicit differentiation to find the partial of z with respect to x and the partial of z with respect to y. All right, so let's do that. All right, so first uh, we're gonna take the partial derivative with respect to x. All right, so in this case, y is considered to be a constant uh, z is a function of x and y, all right? So derivative of uh, e to the 5z uh, with respect to x was, is going to be uh, e to the 5z multiplied by derivative of 5z would be 5 partial of z with respect to x, all right? So this is equal to all right, so in this case, y is just going to be a constant, so I'm going to put it y in front, all right? But the between uh, x and z, so this is a product, we're going to have to use a product rule, all right? So derivative of x, a partial derivative of x with respect to x is going to be 1, so times z plus uh, you have x, then you have to multiply by partial of z with respect to x. All right, so we got that. All right, so what we want to do next is since we, are, we want to solve uh, for partial of z with respect to x and a partial of z with respect to x. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put uh, x, y, partial z with respect to x on the other side. So I'm going to subtract uh, x, y, partial of z with respect to x, right? So we already have uh, 5 e to the 5 z, and then you have a minus x, y, and we have a partial of z with respect to x, so I factored out the partial of z with respect to x, and what's left on the right-hand side would be uh, yz. So I'm going to put the yz. All right, then uh, we can simply uh, divide it through by 5e e to the 5z minus xy. All right, so you have a partial of z over uh, with respect to x is going to be yz over... Uh, 5 e to the 5 z minus x y. All right. So uh, let's type this guy in first. Uh, let's see. So that's not it. Um, here. Yep. All right. So we're gonna have uh, y z over 5 e to the z, uh, 5 z. Uh, minus x, y. All right, so let's go ahead and check the answer. Submit for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. So let's do the other one. All right, the other one is very similar. So we're going to take the uh, partial uh, with respect to y. All right, so the partial derivative of the left hand side is going to be e to the 5z multiply by 5 times partial of z with respect to y. All right, so this is going to be equal to, all right, now x is a constant, so I'm going to put it outside. All right, then we're going to have to use the uh, product rule because it's a y times z. All right, so derivative of y with respect to y is 1 times z plus uh, y times partial of z with respect to y. All right, so we do the same thing. We're going to subtract uh, xy partial of z with respect to y. So we end up getting 5 e to the 5 z minus uh, xy. Then you have a partial of z with respect to y. And this is equal to uh, xz, right? Then uh, lastly, we can just uh, divide through by 5e to the 5z 
minus x y so dz uh, sorry it, I wrong um, notation partial of z with respect to y would be x z and exactly the same the denominator all right so x y all right so let's uh, type it in all right, so we're going to get, uh, let's see, uh, was it uh, xz over 5e to the 5z uh, minus xy. All right, so uh, let's check the answer. So me for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.